In the last episode, Christopher Comfront in us made the native girls into candy slaves. Meanwhile our hero Gregory Germ is sleeping. Gregory. Gregory. I gotta let you know the native girls have been captured and made into candy slaves. They need your help. I can't help them alone. I need to leave this century to year 1492 and get back to the 21st century. I got more important stuff to do. I'll get back to them later. But, but, how do I do that? Oh yeah, I got this gadget in my pocket. No. I just recite the magical words. Hocus pocus in full effect. Escapism here. What you expect? Yes, I'm a germ. I'm not an insect. Get me out of here. To another project. <laughs> to leave him at least 600 years of the past to try to save the future. I really don't know. I'm just a germ. I know one thing. You can't always trust smiling faces. Frankenstein is more trustworthy than some of these characters. At least you know what he's about. For Pete's sake. Who's Pete? He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! How do we stop him? How do we stop him from talking what he's about? He's alive! How do we keep Frankenstein from charging when he's out and about? Uh, I don't know. Try taking away his credit card. Why did Frankenstein tiptoe past the medicine cabinet? Uh, I don't know. He didn't want to wait the sleeping pills. Gee, thanks. 